तो ऐसी बता देना मैं जा थोड़ी रहूँ अभी present with a new topic that is uh, how to do better in english as in my case i i was the topper of my 10th and 12th class and i have already a thing which is in, which was in my mind and still it is that we must have to do something either to waste our time in doing some some scrolling type work or just some scrolling the uh, social media that's it and it's always lives my in, in my mind so i think uh, it can be for that because if we have uh, in our mind that we have to do something or we just have to uh, learn new things uh, in a very quick manner or in very few days then we also go for some new things like for example you came for you came today here for learning new things so i'm going to discuss today what are just some points or what are, what is the hint by which you can improve your english very well so uh, so i have written something here so what is this uh, the first point is practice english on daily basis it's a very uh, it's very important for everyone guys if uh, one wants to learn new in new language it's it's not about uh, english if someone wants to learn new thing he or she must have to give their time to that properly time like do not uh, if you have 24 hours you are just spending in sleeping uh, eight hours and then you are doing your home chores and you are spending for that six hours and then uh, then you are going to play there or you are just scrolling your media and you are just giving only one and half hour for your for your uh, what we can say for your career as well so this is this can't be work for you so the second thing try to think in english uh, look guys if you want to really uh, become fluent in english you must have to develop a thing in your mind that you do not have to think in hindi because uh, we guys are uh, are hind are uh, we have our hindi language we usually think about uh, any everything in hindi in our mind everything comes in hindi language uh, if we we'll think about uh, think about anything in english that then we will uh, we will know that if we are going to talk with someone our thing or uh, our first word would be would be in english because it only depends on our mind or our thinking process how are we thinking and how in which language in we are thinking so just try to develop uh, this uh, thing in your mind that we have to think in english only the third point is do not go for shortcut yeah i have uh, i am in a tuition that's called apa you can also join for that uh because there's there's a ngo who is who does organize all the things for learning the english to the students a uh, free of cost don't worry so uh there mom always says uh, say to us don't go for shortcut shortcut means uh, let's say i have a word that is procrastination and i do not know the uh, exact meaning but i know a little bit in hindi so what would i do if mom ask me and i have to tell to mom if i will tell to her in hindi because to explain in hindi anything is very much easy but we have to go for hard so we we have to try to explain that particular thing in english uh, it doesn't matter that we are using wrong english if we are using wrong sentences wrong words as well as wrong pronunciation it doesn't matter because in the beginning every this happens with have everyone 
do not get hesitate or some do not feel shy to use them and the fourth point is try to be obstinate with your brain this is very much important guys if you will not be get obstinate obstinate means ziddi i'm using here the hindi word but i shouldn't use that you all notice what i said in third point this is uh, i i also made mistake sometime but uh, this is not that i do not keep on learning i just start i just uh, try to keep learning things again and again if you am doing mistake so what is uh, what i said try to be obstinate with your brain you must have to be obstinate or you just have to command if you are going uh, uh, if you are if your mind going on wrong position or in, on the wrong way you must have to control that and uh, don't let your brain to control you just control your brain by yourself this is the thing if your brain is saying uh, saying to go and take some rest and your work is still pending you must have to uh, what we can say command your brain just don't go for that now because it my work doesn't happen till now so you this is the obstinate thing for you and the fifth is app uh, we have lots of app uh now which are few of course you can use the most famous app which uh, which is in my coaching that is kipi you can go for that because it's free of course and it will improve your pronunciation as well and the duolingo you would know about that already and the sixth one talk to your friend at least uh, if you are uh, uh, look if you are in job and you do not have any time you can talk to a friend at least for 10 to 15 minutes because it will help you a lot in your conversation and it will also helps to realize that where are you wrong and if your friend would be good then he or she would let you know that you are making mistake in this part and you are uh, wrong pronunciation something so it can it gonna help to uh, to you so yeah these are just some points which uh, by uh, by following them we can uh, make our pronunciation better and by the time when we we'll practice these things on one year or two year over the time with the uh, with the passage of time we will become the master of english conversation and we will talk like native thank you so much for watching this video